Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. I make all sorts of videos from product reviews to demos to how to's to just me sat here talking to you guys about my experiences. And today's video is gonna be quite a short one, but I think it's a very useful tip if you're struggling to figure this out. I'm gonna show you how you can edit a multicam clip using both a 4K video file and a 1080p video file. This sounds quite simple, and if you're syncing up your clips manually, then you won't have any problems at all. I'll show you how to do that as well. But if you actually want to use the multicam feature, then you'll get something that looks like this. Not ideal. Let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you how to fix it. So firstly, let me show you the problem. So on the left hand side, I have the 4K clip from the intro and the 1080p clip from the intro. If I select these two clips, right click and go to create multi-camera source sequence and just press OK. I then get this multi-cam clip, which I'm gonna drag onto my timeline. And you can see it's asking me to change the sequence settings. I'm gonna keep my existing settings for the time being. So at the moment, my sequence settings are here. I'm at 3840 by 2160. So what that's done is create a multi-cam sequence, which is actually 1080p. So this is my 1080p video and this is my 4K video. And you can see that if I scrub over this file, my 1080p video has black borders around it and my 4K file doesn't. If you're happy with a 1080p multicam clip, this is really simple to solve. All you need to do is hold control, double click on the file, right click your 4K file and click set to frame size. Go back to your original timeline, right click on your multicam clip and again click set to frame size and then you can click between these two files and they fill the frame. So now we have a 1080p multicam clip within a 4k timeline. So this is one solution, this is one workaround, but don't forget this is a 4k clip and I'm in a 4k timeline so I would prefer my multicam sequence to be in 4k. So let's start again and I'll show you how to do that. To get our 4K multicam clip working correctly, we're going to go to File, New, Sequence, and then go over to Settings. We're going to be creating a custom preset that is 3480 by 2160. So in editing mode, we're just going to keep that on custom. Want to make sure the frame size is 3480 by 2160. Yours might say 1920 by 1080. We want to set the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels and then click Save Preset. I'm just gonna call this Multicam. And we're just gonna press OK. Wait for it to reload. You can see under the custom folder, I have a preset called Multicam. I also have one called Multicam 4K because I wanted to test that this worked before I made the video. So we're just gonna close this. We're gonna select our two files again, right click, create multi-camera sequence. We're gonna leave the name as 4K Multi and in the sequence preset, you want to select the preset we just created. So I have custom slash multi-cam and this will be at the very bottom of this menu. So just press OK, it'll synchronize. And now we have a 4K multi-cam clip. We're gonna drag that into our sequence and it will say, do you wanna change the sequence settings? That's because some of those sequence settings in that preset we just made might not be exactly the same. So we're just gonna press keep sequence settings. As you can see, we still have a black border around our 1080 clip, but if we hold control and double click, we're gonna hide our 4K clip. And now we're gonna right click on our 1080p clip and select set to frame size. You can see it does have a border on the top and the bottom. So what we're gonna do is just scale that up slightly with our effects controls. Then we're gonna turn our 4K clip back on, go back to our original timeline. And now you can see when I press play, I have a 1080p clip on the left-hand side, a 4K clip on the right-hand side, and they both fill the video frame. This isn't the most straightforward thing to do, but it is really handy to know how to do it. I did say I was gonna show you how to do this manually as well. Um, so what we're going to do is select our 4K clip, drag it onto our timeline, drag our 1080p clip on our timeline just above, and you can see that the 1080p clip is significantly smaller than our 4K clip. So we're just going to right click on that, click scale to frame size, highlight both of those clips, right click on them, press synchronize, 
use the audio, press OK. And now you have two clips that are perfectly matched up, but you will have to edit it manually. This is okay if you're only working with two clips, but if you're working with eight or nine clips, then the other method will work very well for you. Thanks for watching the video. If it helped you out, then like the video and subscribe so you never miss another episode. I'll see you again very soon.